And speaking of escalating tensions in the Middle East, the supreme leader of Iran, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, has called for unity of Islamic nations against Israel. He's taken to social media. He says, and I quote, we must fortify our defenses and firmly protect our independence and dignity from Afghanistan to Yemen to Iran to Gaza and Lebanon in all Islamic countries and nations, end quote. This comes as uh, Khamenei has awarded an IRGC Air Force commander the Fatah Medal in recognition of Iran's October 1 ballistic missile attack on Israel. That's the kind of signaling we see on part of the supreme leader of Iran. I want to go across to Siddhant for a greater perspective on what we make of this. Uh, Siddhant, we need to see that this comes at a time that uh, Benjamin Netanyahu sent out a stern message not to France alone but to anybody in the West who seeks to clamp down on Israel or seeks to tutor them on how they must take this forward, comes this appeal from Ayatollah Khamenei calling for a unity on part of all Islamic nations. And that's the concern that uh, is going to be a big, big worry for Israel. Remember, it's already fighting, you know, this battle on seven fronts. Well, Kritsween, it's uh, kind of a uh, uh, two tracks that Iran uh, Iran is currently working on. One is the track what we hear from Ayatollah uh, Ali Khamenei every day uh, on social media and in his speeches. And the other track is, uh, the, uh, is the push that the president of Iran, Pazishkin, is making by going to Qatar and uh, perhaps talking for ceasefire and uh, peace. Uh, most of these uh, recent statements uh, and remarks by Ali Khamenei have spoken about the unity in the Arab world. He has also spoken about how Israel is not just the enemy of Iran, but the enemy of the Arab world, and how Israel gets uh, you know, orders from the America to shoot Muslims, to kill Muslims. So perhaps on these lines, uh, Ali Khamenei is, uh, is going forward, and you rightly pointed out even the, some of the uh, commanders, those who participated in, uh, in the October 1 attack have also been felicitated with Fatah uh, Awards. So it is, it, uh, what Ali Khamenei is doing is doing for its domestic audience, mm. uh, Arabic world and his followers in the Arabic world. And what Pazishkin is doing is the real diplomacy, perhaps uh, to stop yes. any kind of an attack from Israel and also to make mm. sure that they, this doesn't because get Because in the end, Siddhant, future. it all comes down to a battle of perception before the real war is fought. And that's what it looks like in the Middle East as well. Many thanks, though, for sharing that perspective with our audiences. We are into a very short break for now, that's all we could pack in this edition. We'll be right back. Keep watching. decisions with comprehensive analysis on the go. Strengthen your portfolio with real-time market updates on the go. Create effective strategies with insightful expert opinions on the go. Grow on the go with CNBC TV18. Now streaming live 24-7 on YouTube. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.